welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. Right now I'm on my way to Lowe's. I'm trying to see what Lowe's is going to have in stores. So I hope we find some pretty good items. Now I just kind of want to know what's in stores. So as I know next month uh, we're going to be getting everything in here in North Carolina. Some places has already started to receive everything that they are going to get like fruit trees and so forth. But right now here in North Carolina we have not received any fruit trees. Uh, we are just getting in some of the seeds um, so I'm super duper excited to see what the stores are having so I hope you guys are going to head and enjoy this video please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video and let's go ahead and get into our shopping haul today or just let's go ahead and see what we might find okay everyone we are here at Lowe's so I'm excited to go ahead inside to see what the store has. But before we go ahead inside the store, I want you guys to look up at this beautiful sky. It is absolutely beautiful. The first thing first, I noticed these beautiful pots here. I love the texture of this pot. I like clay pots and I like concrete pots. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love the weight of them and I love different types of textures. This color is very neutral so you can place this indoors, outdoors and it just will have a nice effect especially if you want to put some bright flowers in them. This one right here, I'm loving this cut on there, I'm loving the pattern and I'm enjoying the color. Right here is some nice sized pots, I don't really care for these pots but um, they're okay it, it won't be something that i would purchase but right here are these pots and i'm loving the water reservoir on these pots um these pots are um clay pots and they're just beautiful they're beautiful i'm liking the splash of blue now this pot right here stunned me it is so lightweight and when i picked it up i couldn't believe how lightweight i had to shake it <laughs> because it was so lightweight i'm like wow you know, I don't know how it will hold up though with the sun being so lightweight and so thin. And right here, you guys, is my most and favorite pot that I've seen so far is these beautiful concrete pots. I'm just loving the simple detail with the black line and the, the, the smoothness of this pot. It's just effortless to me. Uh, so I really like this. If I had the money, I probably would purchase four of them, too small too large up here is another beautiful pot this is a beautiful terracotta pot it has a terracotta rim and I'm just loving the texture it's something about textures to me that you play off of that makes and showcases what you are trying to achieve when you have texture and this pot right here is actually plastic but it has texture to it and it has like a more of like a a concrete finish as well it looks like raw material here is some other pots this has like a diamond cut I thought the color scheme on here is were pretty it's more one of it's like a more blue and one more of an olive color they were very pretty now here are some of the pillows that Lowe's is carrying I don't really care for the tropical uh, pattern or the bead but I'm loving the tribal uh, print on this pillow and as well, I'm loving the tribal print on the twig looking pillow. And I love it because of the texture. If you look really close, this is a beautiful textured pillow. The only problem that I have with these pillows for 20 bucks, I need a zipper. So if I want to wash and clean these really good and, and prevent stains or something like that, I need a zipper so I can go ahead and take them off and be able to clean them. So over here, we have all our seeds in. Now, I was really looking into these pelletized um, seeds because when it comes down to planting flower seeds and herb seeds, they are so small, they're so fine. And so I'm looking at these pelletized uh, seeds and I'm like, wow, you know, I might I might want to invest in these some, sometimes is seeds that are pelletized. So when I want to go ahead and get my greenhouse together again um start sprouting my own flower seeds for the season 
and I won't have to waste any. So these uh, pelletized seeds are perfect because they're a little bit bigger where you can actually just pick, prick one and put it into place. So if you ever had to deal with small seeds before, um, I think the pelletized, uh, basically it's like clay dirt that they mold around it and uh, it makes them a little bit bigger. So I really like that. So I did want to go ahead and show you some of the seeds. Now I went over here because I really am thinking about investing in putting out more stuff. So here is a little microbe, I mean a um, micro green grow kit. I thought this was absolutely cute, but I didn't need it because I had purchased uh, six of them in a haul that I paid 60 cents for at the Dollar General when they were 90% off. But look at these beautiful flowers. This is beautiful. Just love it, love it, love it. Now, I did try to plant me some sunflower, um, the burgundy ones. They did not grow. Here is this beautiful limelight zinnia. This, this one here is called Envy. Green with Envy, Envy. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> so, anyway, I thought that was absolutely beautiful. Last year, I grew the candy cane uh, zinnia. I only had the white and red, but I did not know they have the yellow and red. And I just love the little specks of red on these flowers. It's absolutely beautiful. This one right here, this five spots, this is so pretty. And I, you know, I have my purple queens and I think this will play so pretty on my front porch. Look at this. How pretty is this Cosmo? So as we stroll along, I'm looking at different type of herbs because I want to go ahead and do a bigger herb garden. I do have another project that I started and uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this uh, project that I have um, coming up soon. And um, look at all these different herbs. Now, I did see that they had rosemary seeds, but I just prefer to, um, honestly, I prefer to just go ahead and do my rosemary from cuttings. So, I was looking at these seeds, and I'm like, wow, I would think it's just best to go ahead and start it from cutting. I did plant the yellow watermelon. Uh, my beautiful cousin sent me... Uh, some seeds and uh, I ended up with one yellow watermelon last year and it was so good so as I'm strolling along my eyes were stuck again on something and I said you know what I wanted to plant these and see what would happen and it was the walla walla onion now i was going to get them but i changed my mind i don't know i might go back and uh pick it up again i'm not sure yet so our load is fully stocked with seeds now I'm going to go ahead to the other side of our loads and let's see what they have. So right here they have the blueberries, blackberries, and the raspberries. Um, I did pay attention to some pricing. Um, so shop around to see what is, is worth the value for your plants. Because these are running roughly $16 for the two plants. Now, if you go to Walmart, I think Walmart double packs are a little bit cheaper. But I'm going to do a Walmart video to show you guys what they have as well. Now, I want to point this out to you guys. Now, here they have the uh, onions, garlic, asparagus, and they're running 
okay so this asparagus has three plants in here okay for six dollars and as well the onions are six dollars and they have 60 plants in each pack the potatoes as well is six dollars and they have five plants per pack now if you have a small garden I like the little mixture pack now over here is another uh, company this one here is running ten dollars for one plant So right here is what I want to show you guys. So there is some asparagus. This is running $4, okay? So down here, all these are running $4. So if you look at what I'm trying to show you here is the onions, they have all these, these different type of onions. But if you look really closely, you get 100, 100 plants for uh, $4. With the potatoes, you get five plants for $4. So it's cheaper to get this and you get more for the price. So shop around and see what's going to save you guys a little bit of money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye bye for now.